Hello, I just want to do a video real quick showing you these two 8x8 paintings that I did that I put resin on that you can see the reflection of my phone in. <laughs> I love the way that resin makes things look. It so, has such a glossy, um, just shiny. It's kind of like glass. It's so shiny, as you can see, the reflection from it. And here's another one that I did also. They were ring pours. And this one was really unique because I, I did this one. I sat here and watched all these pretty cells pop up. And I thought I got to resin this thing because I love the way it looked. I love all the different color of cells. The green and the kind of the orange and the yellow mixed together. And I thought it was really cool. So I put resin on it. Also, I cut a resin on it. And on that one. And it says also 8x8. Eight eight. They're both 8x8 eight eight paintings. And this one I did as a feather pour. Um. I haven't uh, put no finish on it yet, but this one is, uh, I believe, 11 by 14. But this is, I did a feather pour on it with uh, copper, gold, and white, which I thought came out pretty cool. But I just wanted to show you these videos, this video real quick with these few little paintings that I did. These two that are resined, they're 8 by 8, and this one is 11 by 14. And they are all up for purchase. Um... So if you're interested, send me an email and I'll put the prices and all the um, information in the description box of this video. And also, um, real quick, I want to show you this other one real quick. I have it underneath. I forgot I had this one. This is a fire and ice one that I did. Also a Dutch pour with uh, oranges and reds. And this one I did with blue. I thought it came out pretty cool. And this is also an 11 by 14 painting. Um, but they're all available for purchase. So I will put the... My email in the description box of this video if you're interested. And they will be getting, um, you know, before they go out, get shipped out, I'll put a cut of, uh, I'm going to try to get some varnish. If I can't get no varnish, I'll use resin. But they'll either get liquid text varnish on them or the gloss varnish or um, resin. One of the two, but I will put one of them on there to finish them. But varnish is, varnish is hard to come by these days, so I may just have to put resin on them. But I will put the information to these paintings in the description box of this video and I will also put my uh, link to my GoFundMe for those who want to help in art supplies I will put that link in the description box of this video also along with the prices and all the information on these paintings and sizes and um, the prices of them and everything all the information that you need so if you're interested just send me an email and I'll put my email in the description box also in this video and until next time y'all have a good day bye